Peggy 18. How's it going? I'm Sam Strachman, narrative designer at Ubisoft Paris, the studio behind Ghost Recon Wildlands. As you know, our goal is to create a realistic and modern shooter in a massive open world. Recently, we've been sharing the vision of our game with a couple of our friends, the guys over at Red Storm Entertainment, creators of the very first Ghost Recon game, as well as a special guest. We're very excited to give you a first glimpse into that creative process. I hope you enjoy. Ghost Recon was, we had just worked on Rainbow Six, Rogue Spear, its sequel, and wanted to do something a little different. Take it wide open into a big world and see what you could do in those wide open spaces. We wanted to show players what it would be like to be a covert American warfighter at the tip of the spear in the modern battlefield. It's not run and gun. It's about getting into position, reconning your environment, and deciding how you want to approach the problem. You do need to think, but you also need to react. And for me, that's where the excitement comes in. It is the ideal shooter. One of the philosophies with authenticity in the Tom Clancy games is to learn what's real and then extrapolate from that to make the best game experience possible. We want gear and equipment to be correct. We want tactics to be correct. We want enemy reactions to be reasonable. We want the environments to look real. We have access to so many experts, uh, people who are in the field and they're here to tell us their stories. So we've ha always had a really broad range of people that we could draw upon. The list is long, because again, because we are authentic, we are appreciated by a lot in the military that do do this, and so they like to help to make sure we continue to get it right. Over the past several years at Ubisoft Paris, we've done a tremendous amount of research to create a coherent and authentic world. Our starting point was the Tom Clancy universe, but we also worked with a number of experts on drug cartels, like drug enforcement officers, who introduced us to some real-life smugglers. We did training exercises with guys in special operations and special forces. We spent time exploring Bolivia. We even went to the CIA headquarters and got advice from officers who were working in South America. All the hours and hours of research that the team has been doing can literally be seen on screen. Bolivia and Ghost Recon Wildlands feels like a living, breathing place. At Ubisoft Paris, our goal is to maintain the authenticity of the universe while bringing new elements to Ghost Recon a living, breathing, open world. Vehicles for land, air, and water. Four-player co-op with a hot join feature. A non-linear progression so that every player is creating their own unique experience. It's very true to the, the core principles of Ghost Recon. At the same time, it's just a fantastic expansion. I'm actually very impressed with what I saw um, looking at a version of the game. I know it's still early in production, but I personally am excited because it looks like the game that we always wanted to make. I think the level of detail that's there, and again, this is early production, I was just really impressed with the quality of the visuals. It doesn't just feel like Ghost Recon, but it feels like it delivers on the, on the original kind of promise of Ghost Recon, of being out there as a soldier in a small army fighting a war. You know, not just uh, some guys going through just, you know, linear missions. It's what Ghost Recon was meant to be. I can't wait to hear what people think of this game. And not just from an authenticity perspective, I mean, I cannot wait to hear the crazy stories and insane events that come out of people taking this systemic world and making things happen that nobody expected. We hope you enjoyed this video, and we look forward to giving you more information about the game. Until then, keep an eye on GhostRecon.com and join the conversation on the official forums and subreddit. Talk to you later.